This I Believe by Victoria Ricks. It's not good to judge somebody by their appearance. I believe in the statement, it is not good to judge somebody by their appearance. I never know people internal reasons for the things they do. I can truly say there are a lot of judgmental people in the world today who expresses their criticism by using facial expressions. I can say that is a fact based upon experiences I had growing up. My mother has been a single mother raising three girls on her own since we were babies. My mother did not complete her college education or receive her college degree. That made it very hard for her to keep the bills paid, food on the table, clothes on our back, and transportation to get us to and from school and work every day all at one time. Because of her situation, she did not have a lot of money to buy us the latest things we wanted or the new name brand things that came out. During my elementary and middle school years, I was judged verbally and through facial expressions because I would wear the same clothes every week very often. When new shoes came out, such as the new Nike Air Forces, I would still have my sketches on. At school during lunchtime, I would be outside because I did not have lunch money to eat and I felt ashamed. Most of my classmates had the new Nikes that came out. The kids would look at me and give me a look with their noses turned up, which expressed to me, look at this chick with these dirty, out of style, and ugly shoes on. They did not know my household was struggling. Now, if somebody was to do that to me, I would look at them like they were my enemies and say, is there a problem with your nose? It was even worse when I was talked down to by my own family members that were in either the same situation as I was or in a worse situation. However, they decided to talk down on people to make themselves feel better about their own situation. One summer day, my mother decided to go see her mother, our grandmother. In the front of my head, I was excited to see my grandmother because I had not seen her in a while. But in the back of my head, I felt this strong feeling that she was going to say something that I was not going to like. Since I am not a negative person, I kept a positive thought and focused on being excited. As we were on our way to go see her, my sisters and I were laughing hard at my mother as she sang and danced while she was driving. Once we arrived at my grandmother's house, I had to tell myself, if something was said that you disagree with, keep your mouth closed. We got out of the car and walked towards the house. I could see my grandmother had a smile on her face as she was happy to see her grandchildren and, of course, her daughter. The first thing she said was, Vanessa, you still skinny? Seems like every time I see you, you get smaller and smaller. My grandmother was unaware that my mom had recently had surgery. Then I said to my sisters, that comment was just unnecessary to say. My mother heard me and she told me to shut up, so I left it alone. As the day went on, my grandmother asked me, Why do you still have that old virgin mobile phone? Them phones are for poor people and everybody got these new upgraded phones. When she said that, I said, Because I am grateful for this one, and I walked off. I was thinking to myself, how can she have the nerve to talk down to us and she is going through financial problems herself? When I heard the word poor, I began to think about the nights with no lights, cold baths, not eating some nights, walking in the cold windy weather, and getting chased by dogs as we walked home because the car broke down. Some people may call that poor, but I call it a process of going towards our blessing. We were truly blessed with the house and the car that's in my mother's name and that she can afford to pay for every month. Although I and my mother will talk down a lot, it taught me a lesson. The things people say really do not matter because I know what I am doing is for the best. And I truly love and appreciate my mother for the struggles we went through. This is why I never judge anyone.